OK, in the first video of this short series we built a data pack image on the PC ready to transfer to an actual pack in the organizer. We need to select a pack. I have some packs here. I want to be sure that there's no information on this pack that I might need before I start to, uh, to work on it. So we can use the organizer. It's got two slots. This is slot C. This is uh, slot B. The internal memory is referred to as, uh, as, as A. I'm going to use the utilities program to check the directory of the pack of pack C. And when I use the down arrow, I can see that there's nothing on the pack other than uh, a file called main. The operating system places a freeform database called main organizer database on every pack that it uh, that it sizes and it reserves some space for uh, a file allocation table the software we're going to use doesn't want any of that uh, pack information on the pack it wants a newly for newly formatted unsized pack I get a newly formatted unsized pack by exposing the chip to ultraviolet light uh, and the ultraviolet light will uh, will wipe the information off the chip. So I put it in my data pack formatter. And when I start the data pack formatter, uh, the formatting is automatic. It'll take about 30 minutes. And while that's happening, I'll set up the uh, camera on the PC ready for the next stage. Okay, so now we're set up uh, looking at the, uh, the personal computer. I've darkened the screen to make it easier for my, uh, for my old camera to focus. Uh, and we're getting ready now to transfer this quiz pack that we've got on the PC across and uh, make the pack onto the organizer. I've got the organizer set up here. I've got it set up to where uh, it's powered from the mains which is quite important when you're making a pack that you don't operate off batteries because it's a great drain on batteries while it's actually uh, burning the pack uh, and I've got it connected through this uh, original comms link to a serial port at the back of the PC I'm fortunate that on this old PC I have, a, I have an old serial port so I've connected the original comms link to a serial port. I'm not going to uh, route around the back and unplug it. But for those that have never seen one, this is uh, an original IBM PC ET 25 pin uh, serial adapter. This would plug into the serial port at the back of the PC. Later these were, uh, were changed when they went from a PC ET to a PC AT and they became a 9 pin. And you might still find the odd laptop, uh, an old, old laptop or an old, old computer. Some still have this 9-pin socket. They come uh, female or male. Some are the opposite, female and male. So to make sure that we could always connect to our comms link to the... IBM compatible computer they were compatibles and um, all different kinds of uh, IBM PCs adapted uh, you might have needed a gender changer to uh, to change the gender of your uh, adapter to make sure it would connect to, to the PC or the compatible PC as USB ports started to uh, become popular, then obviously we needed a USB to uh, serial port adapter. And you could get these uh, adapters, and we all successfully used those uh, quite a lot. And that helped us with the transition to more modern computers and into a Windows environment. Nowadays, everything, all those are obsolete. Oliver, a Belgian chap, has just wrote this brand new uh, circuit board inside this uh, 
comms link adapter and it's actually USB powered. It actually transmits by USB and it actually powers from the USB port. So there's no need as on this original one for an exter external power supply. Uh, everything happens on this. It's very small, it's very compact, it's very neat and it works very successfully with Psi 2 Win which Boris and uh, Oliver put together. No, it was Yap. Boris and Yap helped put together the uh, Psi 2 Win and with this modern comms link uh, communicating with a Windows PC, 32-bit, 64-bit, Windows 8, Windows 9, Windows 10, it's not an issue. Everything works successfully. This old original comms link uh, and the software I'm going to use is DOS based. Uh, it goes back to the 1980s before Windows even existed uh, and to run this old DOS based software I need a, a DOS environment. So for that I'm going to use uh, DOSBox which is a uh, an emulator that emulates uh, DOS commands onto a, a personal computer. Now before I actually try to burn this chip I want to make sure that this organizer is actually working and talking successfully with the PC. I want to check the link and make sure that everything's uh, working successfully. So to test it what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the organizer off and I'm going to call the uh, the DOS command comms link which abbreviates to CL uh, and we'll see if, if, if the communications are working. So I'm going to type CL, which is a, the abbreviation for comms link on the DOS command. And uh, it's launched the software comms link and you can see the server working here. And I know it's communicating with my organizer because it's actually powered up the organizer. It's talked through the serial port and it's actually triggered the organizer and made it, uh, took it out of sleep and put it into wake up mode. Uh, one further check I can do is I can check whether the data is being passed backwards and forwards correctly. Uh, on this, on a Cyan organizer, you've got a freeform database on every pack and every device called main. Uh, you saw it uh, a few minutes ago when we were looking at the contents of the pack that we put in, ready to uh, put into the eraser. So I'm going to find on that pack, find on A main, I've actually put a little bit of text in it, um, test comms link. Uh, if I can successfully send this uh, information from this organizer to the PC, then I know uh, everything will be working correctly. So I'm going to navigate to my comms menu, which is at the bottom of the uh, menu. It's a, an, an up, uh, menu, menu item called comms. I'm going to choose transmit rather than receive because I want to send it from the organizer to the PC. So I want to transmit the information. I'm going to transmit uh, a file. It's not an OPL procedure and it's not a notepad file. It's actually a file. Uh, when I click on that I get the default is A main. I could change that to a different pack and to a different name if I wanted. Uh, and in a second it's going to then ask me for the name that I want to put on the PC. I'm going to accept the default name main and then you'll see the organizer will uh, the computer comms link on the computer will click into action you'll see something happening you'll see it using some software uh, and then uh, it will you'll hear the organizer beep at the end of the process it'll all happen very quickly because it's a very small file uh, so I'll shut up now and you'll watch me put in main and then we'll see it go And we heard it beep at the end and that means the file's gone successfully. Sometimes if it didn't work you'd get a, a screen here which would be saying time out. After a certain amount of time it, uh, if it doesn't get the communications or things aren't working then it times out. It doesn't just hang, it, uh, it eventually times out. So I can come out of that and I am now ready then to uh, build this pack or make the pack is the correct term in uh, organizer say an organizer language I can uh, make the pack onto uh, onto my data pack the uh, the manual the say an organizer to 
developer manual manual that comes with the software. Uh, the software came on a uh, on an old five and a quarter inch floppy in those days. But you can download the software from Yap's web archive, and you'll also find the manual there, and you can read the manual online. Uh, I'm going to prepare myself to do that. It's telling me in this DOS box that when I finish with comms link to quit. So I'm going to press Q for quit and yes because I'm sure. So I've got my cursor back in the uh, in DOS box. And the command to make to uh, send the pack is make. M-A-K-E. And then it says I want the name of the, uh, the, the file on the PC. Uh, I'm going to look for that. Well, we call it uh, quiz pack. Q U I Z P A C K. We call it quiz pack. Now it is an organizer programming pack. It's an OPK, but it doesn't need the file extension. Uh, before I, I, I send this command, before I press return on this command, uh, everything then will happen quite quickly, and I don't particularly want the computer to time out. I don't want the uh, organizer actually to time out. So when I click, click on make, it's going to tell me to go to the uh, comms menu here. So I'll, get, I'll actually prepare that bit. I'll find the comms menu here. It'll tell me to go to boot. Well, boot, I'll show you now because it'll happen quite quickly. Boot is at the bottom of the menu. It'll then tell me to enter a file name. Well, actually, it's got the file name. So I'm just going to press uh, execute. Because in make it knows it's going to use the same file name there, quiz pack. Uh, and then you'll see it will send some code from make, from the software make, onto the organizer to tell the organizer what to do with the information it's going to send in a second to the data pack. It'll then tell me to uh, insert the, the pack into drive, into slot C. I'll do that. And then it'll send. It'll start to send the data across. All that's going to happen quite quickly. So I'll uh, I'll, I'll I'll enter the command now, and then we'll just see how it how it goes. So it's make quiz pack. It says boot comms link. Go to boot. Click on boot. I'm clicking on boot. It says press enter for the end of a name. It's doing that. It's now sending some code from the on the onto the uh, uh, organizer. And in a second, it'll say insert the pack. I'm getting ready to insert the pack. It says place an unsized pack. I'm doing that. Like I say, I don't want to time out. So I've got the pack in and I've pressed the PC. I'm, I'm happy now when I see this uh, sizing pack C, making pack in, in pack C. I'm not sure whether you can hear it, but I can hear the pack actually uh, being burnt. You can hear it clicking as it makes the pack. Now that's going to take a while that. That's going to take at least 5 or 10 minutes. This is a 32k data pack so it's more likely to take about 10 minutes to burn this pack. So I'm going to turn off the computer now and then when it's finished we'll just have a quick look at the organizer and make sure that it's actually loaded it across successfully. So for this part, I'll uh, I'll just uh, turn off the camera now, and we'll uh, we'll come back a little bit later. Okay, so we can check now whether uh, making that pack onto this uh, data pack has actually worked. When I uh, when I turn on the organizer, I get the standard organizer menu: find, save, diary. If I press on clear again, if it's worked, quiz pack boots to the main menu. And there we have the quiz option. So we know that, uh, that, that we've been successful in building that pack. If you want to uh, check out the quiz and the quiz pack, then check the, uh, the link to the quiz pack demonstration video in the description below.